I am very interested in childhood brain conditions like autism and intellectual disability. And when I began my work, these were among the most enigmatic conditions really in all of medicine. When the human genome was sequenced was about the time I began my work looking for genetic changes in the genome in children with autism. What I've seen emerge just in the 15 years that I've been doing it, I would never have imagined. We are able to sequence the genome of children with a new diagnosis of a developmental disorder and come up 10, 20 percent of the time with a genetic diagnosis that is an ex at the very least an explanation for families, a medical explanation. I have what I call a wet lab or a biology research-based lab in the molecular biology department in the Institute for Brain Science. And in that lab, we have various sort of levels of trainees from undergrad all the way to postdoctoral fellow. Dr. Moore has been uh, an incredible mentor for me. Uh, has really altered kind of my trajectory uh, in life, in my career. I've always wanted to kind of understand the child developmental disorders with all the different techniques and skills that brain science is affording researchers today, we're really able to drill down in ways that we haven't been able to in the past. When you identify a genetic change in a gene that we think is the cause in these subtypes of autism, it provides a way in to begin to explore the complex problem. The genome is telling us, here's the change, and the genetic change will change a gene, and that gene will code for a particular protein or building block in the cell that will impart a particular function in the cell during brain development. We can now seek to understand how, in a child who's affected by a genetic cause of autism or intellectual disability, how that brain development's a little bit different than a typically developing child. Clearly, within the next five to 10 years, we will have um, better explanations of what the condition is. Then I would like to add, and based on that genetic diagnosis and these changes, this is the treatment path. Can we, by using these genetic tests, steer the child towards a more precise set of interventions? And that's the, that's the motivation for what we do in the long run.